Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, today I'll show you how you can replace your phone screen inside of new CACs in an easiest way. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So right now we are in Nuke and as you guys can see this is a green screen footage and let's play this first. Okay, so guys, this is a footage and if you guys really need this footage, link is in description. Just go and download. What do you have to do? You just copy whatever I am uh, pasted in my description and just paste it over your video description. And don't forget to press that hashtag VFX world. That's it. Enjoy. Okay, so today uh, I'll replace this screen and uh, you can see there's a green skin over there. So basically we have to remove and uh, add a screen over this. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, uh, let's king this or let's track this. Uh, I thought let's track this first because uh, we will track by using Planet Tracker and Planet Tracker can track texture as you all know. But if you remove this uh, screen before track, it may be uh, distort your tracking data. Uh, so okay, so by pressing tab on your keyboard, take a Planet Tracker. Guys, Planet Tracker is a really good uh, tracker for uh, new users. It it looks like a Mocha tracker, and you can use it as a Mocha tracker as well. So just connect it like this, and then just zoom it, and simply draw your shapes uh, like this. I'm uh, not doing it perfectly, but you guys can uh, make it precise, and you guys can make it more good uh, as per your footage. Uh, guys, uh, make sure. Whatever you are tracking inside of this by using this planet tracker, it should be proper because otherwise uh, you, your entire footage is completely maybe distorted or whatever you are track trying to track that will not come properly. So uh, the basic is done. So right now I am in first frame. Uh, guys, uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, if uh, if you want to track by using this planet tracker, make sure you ha you you're doing it in the right way because planet tracker. If you uh, draw the shapes on the first frame and just you shift it over there in the last frame, it will not work. Okay, so whatever you are doing, make sure you have to do that only that frame only. So uh, now uh, let's play this so when you press this play button it will start tracking uh, right now it's already started tracking guys it will take so much time because we have 250 to 380 frames and uh, my system is not good enough because right now I'm outside of my hometown so I'm doing it in my laptop so you know the laptop is uh, more slower than my system so when it will complete I'll get back to you okay so right now the track is done and you can see the track is perfectly fitted on the screen and maybe slight area is like sliding or I don't know but I, I can see there is one area is little bit sliding but relax that will not uh, affect your entire tracking method data because uh, we will do uh, one interesting process which will not show that your footage is uh, sliding or not okay so this is done now we have to go again the first frame and then we have to make a reference frame so this option is called set current frame to the uh, reference frame so what means like whatever we are doing what we're doing in first frame right so if you paste any footage in the first frame that will ca calculate the first frame as a reference frame okay so just select this option and click it when you click this option do not move anything in anywhere it may be crash your nuke so see it's already showing not responding so if you press anything after this click it can be crash your nuke so before doing this please save it see right now it's done so do not click anywhere this is a kind of a bug okay so now the track is done let's click here and we will create this corner pin 2d relative just click this and you can see there's one uh, option is popping coming up so right now we don't need this too so just Deselect this or uh, disconnect this and connect it to here and just press this X button. Okay, so right now this two is uh, left. So no need this two so right now. Okay, so what are we doing? We'll make a key for keying this. Okay, so by pressing tab, take a uh, key light or you can use a chroma key, anything you want. I'm taking a key light, take a key light, connect it like this. And simply now see the green skin is really good so we don't need to remove anything uh, like advanced king process just 
click here by pressing control you can click anywhere in this footage now see the green is gone but if you can see this is slightly these things sir so it's not mandatory to remove because it will become your uh, what you can say uh, the reflection but if you wish you can go to the screen mat and this is a clip black option and you can remove it by increasing this clip black and decreasing anything now see when i increase this this white lines are gone see but don't increase too much just slightly it's fine yeah okay uh, you can use this pre blur as well to blur this all i i suggest do not blur this all because i, I personally i don't like the screen softness see this is a softer now it's fine and uh, let's check this yeah it's fine okay so right now this thing is actually is a png in new okay uh, since right now it's done the keying process okay so what you have to do you have to make our we have to take our footage which i will track so press r and let's take this so guys this is a matte painting um, which i have already done before tutorial we don't uh, who, uh, those guys who still not watch this matte painting tutorial just go and watch my matte painting tutorial which is really amazing and um, you guys can learn an interesting process about matte painting and yes i will make one more matte painting tutorial which will based on advanced matte painting because this is a completely uh, simple plate matte painting and uh, those who guys still not watch my planet tracker process how planet tracker is actually working detailed planet tracker tutorial tutorial link is in also description just go and download even you can see in this area there's a pop up over there the card over there link also will there just go and click okay so this is a matte painting i want to paste this matte painting on the screen okay so what you have to do just click it here i'm just arranging okay so and then take this now the basic idea is this is obviously the uh, foreground one and that this will be a background one so guys make sure this concept should be always clear because so many guys are asking me how i can understand that which pipe should connect in which area so press m on your keyboard to the called merge and obviously we know this is our foreground and this is our background so obviously this will connect a will connect to this and b will connect to this right so when you connect this you can see both screens are actually same areas okay so this is fine but now the screen is in full you see okay so what i have to do i have to take a corner pin okay so just disconnect this two now i want to connect this corner pin data to this one okay so when you connect this okay my system is suddenly gotten stuck this is the most irritating part i am ever using this thing okay so just connect this to this and when you click one you can see when you play this footage the footage is moving because this movement is actually the phone movement okay so just pause it go to the first frame again and then what you have to do this tracking data will be connect to this so just now a should be this and b should be this just arrange it properly yeah like this so now when you press one you can see this everything is fine see now every the footage is right now moving really well cool okay now uh, let's go to the first frame and let's take a corner pin so by pressing tab take a corner pin and double click on it disable this double click on it and just simply arrange it like this fine just do it roughly then press it again and just play now you can see the footage is exactly on its own place i hope guys this pipe connection process you can understand uh, if you don't just comment down below that uh, sir i want to know make a tutorial on how to connect that pipes like which pipe should connect in which area so i'll make a detailed uh, overview tutorial of nuke that will help you to make a good output okay okay so see the tracking is right now exactly on the same place now what you have to do you have to refine this corner pane data and see this corners are actually rounded okay not sharp like other phones so you have to make that rounded as well okay so before doing this always arrange everything in a proper way that will help you to become a good comper okay so uh, right now what i have to do we have to just corner pin adjusting so first of all i'm just built outside of this area because 
I, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Uh, just make it like this. And uh, this this thing no need to go so much outside because this is our screen line. Okay, so just make it only here like this. And this one is also like just make sure that uh, picture is not being distorted. So that's our basic concern. So make it like this. I think yeah, this is fine and this should be a little go up. So this is everything is right now done. So now what I have to do, we just uh, okay, let's save this. So control S save. Yes, right now it's saved. Now uh, I want to delete these edges. Okay, so it's a very easiest way, guys. Trust me. So what you have to do, just press a roto node and connect it to here because now see again the pipe connection process. Now take a roto node and it should connect and it should connect uh, after this corner pin data. Now why I am doing this after this corner pin data because I want that roto shape as dragged after this corner pin data and the roto shape can be moved with that footage. So that's why I am putting this roto shape after this corner pin data. Okay, I hope you understand. And make a simple roto node on your screen, but make sure this shape should be precise. Okay, so this is a really important mandatory in fact. So just make it precise roto shape. So uh, right now, as you guys can see, this roto is done. And when you play this, see the roto is sticked on his own space. Uh, so if if you wish, you can connect to roto it from here. But I suggest to connect it here because the corner pin data you you are actually rotoing after this corner pin data. Okay. So now go to the first frame and press uh, this D again. So this footage will reveal. Now see still. It's still not cut it and you can see whatever I'm doing in the roto here just delete uh, disable this it's actually the not in screen properly okay we, because the footage is still it's inside of the screen so just go to this corner pin data and just increase it a little bit so that it can be cut it okay so don't worry it's not uh, so just make it like this and make it like this fine so the basic idea is we have to make this edges round so right now i uh, just uh, just enable this again the roto shapes double click and go to down select this and just simply you can see these shapes are fine right now and just simply you have to make from pre multiply make it rgba now see this is done when you press q to cut this overlay now you can see these edges are not properly done relax it will not come and it will not harm your output because we will reveal the phone screen because as you can notice that there is no reflection over there right so it's completely looking fake when you play this see it's actually tracked but it's not feel like it's actually a real uh, phone plate so what you have to do you have to reveal that phone reflection and that's the more trickiest part in fact the most easiest part and the most uh, lovable part in my entire tutorial just go to the first frame and select this two and press ctrl c and ctrl v again now we, we are revealing it's completely revealing process so press m again now this is a completely reflection which is keying process after the king and all so this we have reflection over there and this is a complete uh, output okay so now what you have to do the reveal process so a should pipe go to this and b pipe go to this because the a is foreground and b will be up for a background then just connect it this viewer to this now see the reflection is revealed in fact this is already cut it out which is our main edges so then when you disable this this one you can see this is our basic green screen and the basic with this area is actually cut it so just disable this again now you can see what happened okay see disable enable disable enable and the reflection is coming properly okay so i hope you really understand this edges and all how you can revealing this uh, process in fact this notches areas and all but if you want you can't reveal this in any other way now there is so many ways over there uh, see the, right now we have to color correct edge blur and all so first of all what you have to do i have to just uh, add a edge blur so where we are adding edge, edge blur we are adding this edge blur after this roto node you can use a feather but i suggest use that edge blur that's it's really good so press tab edge blur like this and connect it to here and simply it's three is fine okay so edge blur is done okay so it's actually right now done press one it again to connect it now the basic part which you what is called like now see 
my system uh, sorry my footage uh, frame range is 250 to 380 and my matte painting starting frame range is 1 to 300 so when you play this after 50 frames there's like 300 frames you can see that uh, output will be stopped now see this is the first 300 frames and these are 350 frames thus both outputs are same because after 300 frames there is no frames so what you have to do you have to shift the frame range to 250 to 380 right now i have 380 last frame and my in input like this uh, tracking input is like 1 to 300 so what i have to do i'm on minus like 3 mi 380 minus 300 so it will become 80 so that means that starting frame range should be right now from 80 and the 18 frame range is 380 it's fine so you can see the complete end uh, like uh, from end output okay so what i'm doing i'm just tap tab and press a time share offset and just make it like 80 so it's done so when you go to the last frame you can see the last frame as well see and when you go to first frame it's already from 1 to uh, 79 frame is already cut it but nobody which is not needed and then after that we can use this complete output okay so this is actually right now done now you can make some color correction by pressing uh, grade or something else you wish just color correct your now see the background is so much bright okay so every time every time notice that whenever you are doing color correction make sure if your background is too bright for phone purpose then obviously your screen always should little darker so it's feel like a natural night right now you can see this feel is more natural when you press disable this this is so much bright which is not real in real life so just uh, see it's fine and obviously you have to make a overall color correction as well so i'm not doing overall color correction i'm just taking a constant it's uh, my uh, lovable thing is like constant sorry like constant and just press m again connect it to a pipe b pipe and uh, like this and tap this constant and i am taking it like uh, copy now see it's all black double click on this constant and make sure the color should be changed now i'm taking from color like uh what you can say like bluish yes the bluish is good it's fine yeah it's let's good okay right now nothing i have to do just go to the here and just download this mix value and you can see this small bluish tint part is popping out so I really love this bluish part. If you wish, you you can do. Otherwise, just leave it at like this. So just space this and play this. Okay, and just make it the full res. And this is actually your full resolution output. And let's play this. So guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this today's tracking process and replacing phone screen tutorial. And uh, if yes, then don't forget to press the subscribe button, press like button, and obviously you have to share. If you have any questions comment down below i'll definitely try to answer all those questions and yes the footage is free and obviously i announced that in my channel i'm uploading so many footages in bulk that is called stock footages so i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye and keep rocking Dream machine.